Hey everyone, Tactics here, where in this video I'll be taking a first look at the new Elune's Chosen Hero Talents coming for Guardian and Balanced Druids in the War Within expansion. Of course, as a tank player, I'm definitely going to be focusing more on kind of the Guardian interactions in this tree, which of course based on the name, is likely going to be heavily Moonfire or Arcane related, which is something that is kind of divisive in the Guardian Druid community, whether you like the Laser Bear playstyle or the more physical-based playstyle, so it's going to be definitely interesting to take a look at. I'll also be covering the new Templar Hero Tree for Prop Paladins and Colossus for Prop Warriors uh, in videos later this week, so make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on. Otherwise, let's start here with the Keystone talent in this hero tree, Boundless Moonlight. So hopping right into it here. Uh, so for Balanced Druids, this creates a full moon, calls down two minor moons that deal astral damage and generate astral power. For Guardian Druids, looks like this is empowering Lunar Beam. Okay, Lunar Beam is a talent. Uh, you weren't really picking it. I think there were some niche scenarios where maybe it was good. It got buffed a bunch of times, but looking like this tree is going to be, uh, you know, Lunar Beam related here. So good. The talent needs love to be actual useful. So uh, it now causes you to leech life equal to 10% of all damage dealt to enemies within the beam. So 10% leech in your Lunar Beam. And for both specs, Fury of Elune now ends with a flash of energy blasting nearby enemies for astral damage. For Guardians, I'm assuming that's going to come into play later on in the tree, uh, but we'll have to just keep reading. Uh, here, Moon Guardian for balance, Moonfire and Starfire generate more astral power. For Guardians, free automatic Moonfires from Galactic Guardian generate rage. Okay, so this was a bug interaction, bugged, uh, that was uh existed for a long long time was recently removed i believe with the uh with the end of season two maybe season three where moon fires from galactic guardian uh they you would just let them proc themselves essentially and would generate rage and they stopped doing that uh, i believe at the end of season two but then in season three there was this weird kind of bug reintroduction here where galactic guardian the proc itself wouldn't give extra rage when it procced itself um but if you had twin moonfire and there was a second target the twin moonfire would proc galactic guardian so that was a weird thing so they're just kind of putting it back into the spec now it is a bit weird gameplay i will say it's strong it's it's good but it is weird where you get a big proc show up on your screen and the actual best thing to do is not press it because it's it's kind of uh a waste i wonder if this is additional rage so that you do still have the incentive to press it because you're not going to get the baseline galactic guardian rage generation but you are going to get uh the five rage we'll have to see how this actually works but my guess based on how this sounds is it's reintroducing that kind of uh interaction that they took away which is good power wise but maybe a little weird gameplay wise uh moving down the middle of the tree here moonfire 10 percent additional damage boom uh, glistening fur, bear form, and moon can form reduce arcane damage taken by 6%. So a bit of a DR there for specifically arcane damage. And then a 3% magic damage DR on top of that, or for other damage forms rather, not for arcane. So a little bit of passive DR there. Never going to complain as a tank player to have more passive DR. Moving down, lunar amplification. Each non-arcane damaging ability you use increases the damage of your next arcane damaging ability, stacking up to three times. So I guess you can really juice up uh, things like your moon fires uh, in single target, potentially juice up. I mean, you always want to juice up like a lunar beam. If you have a lunar beam, potentially if you're a lunar, we'll have to see, but uh, you know what, you'll have things like thrash, mangle, uh, maul, or raise. Uh, that kind of thing that'll be physical outside of Moonfire. I mean, it's pretty much everything but Moonfire, right? And Lunar Beam. So everything else, you should be able to pretty easily build up these stacks for your big CDs. Just a, something else to guess, think about for Guardian Druids here uh, when you're casting your big Arcane spells. Uh, atmospheric Exposure, enemies damaged by Full Moon, Fury of Lune, or Lunar Beam take 4% increased damage from you for 6 seconds. So a little bit of a damage boost here in your CDs again. We got a choice note here, the first choice note I believe that we're seeing. So you get moon dust, enemies affected by moonfire are slowed by 30%. That's actually pretty nice uh, for, for Guardian Druid. You won't need to spec into that raise or mangle uh, slow anymore. For a slow, you'll just have a slow in your kit, which is actually really nice. Or 
Eloon's Grace using Wild Charge in bear form or Moon Conform incurs a three second shorter cooldown. Yeah, I think it, for keys, you'll basically be perma slow mode unless there's something like Sanguine you need to be aware of. But that, that's actually really nice utility here for, for Guardian Druid specifically. Uh, Moonkin obviously is probably still nice too. I assume they are fully spreading Moonfires in AoE, but you know, who knows? Uh, moving down, we've got all choice nodes down here. All right, so first choice node on the left, either Stellar Command, which is increased damage to full moon by 50%, lunar beam by 30%, and fury of a loon by 15%, or lunar calling for balance that starfire deals 40% increased damage to its primary target, but no longer triggers solar eclipse. And for guardian thrash now deals arcane damage. Okay, so, okay, so that means now it's going to not be part of lunar amplification, but it's going to actually be a part of all the actual uh, damage amps in the guardian tree. Let's pull up the guardian tree here real quickly. Uh, and we can see what those are. Uh, where is tools, talent calculator, guardian? Here we go. So there's a bunch down here, right? So you've got balloons favored, right? I mean, let's just go down the tree. This is not a real build, okay, guys? I'm just going down the tree. Uh, bam, uh, uh, bam, bam, and let's go down this way. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, so here it is. So, well, bear form, you're going to deal 20% more damage. So that's a 20% buff to Thrash now. If you take a Loon's Favored, well, in bear form, you deal 10% increased arcane damage. So that's another 10% on, on Thrash. And you're also going to be healed now, just regular healed for 40% of all arcane damage done. On top of uh, over here, uh, if you're still taking Ursoc's Fury, you're also going to be getting an Absorb Shield. So Thrash will now give you an absorb shield and heal you if it's arcane damage. Uh, and then on top of this, you're also going to be going down this moonfire side. Uh, that's just moonfire damage. I don't believe this buffs arcane damage. Yeah. Okay. This is just a mastery buff, but all you're getting these arcane amps now to thrash. And then you're also going to be able to up its damage, uh, sometimes here with lunar amplification. That's, that is pretty large. That is pretty large unless lunar beam does a ton of damage and fury of a loon for however guardian is going to proc that. This is actually very, very big. You're getting a lot of thrash synergies through the talent tree here. It's going to be doing a ton of damage and a ton of healing, both direct healing and absorb healing, which is, that's huge. That That's that's really big. Uh, okay, moving on to the middle here, another choice node. Either Light of Valoon, so Moonfire damage has a chance to call down Fury of Valoon. Okay, there it is. So that's how Guardians would proc Fury of Valoon. Um, follow their target for three seconds and generates 18 Astro Power or Rage. So Moonfire procs. Uh, it's not a moon, but hey, that's still uh, an interesting kind of uh, benefit to spreading your moon fires. Uh, or Astral Insight here, incarnations uh, increase arcane damage from spells and abilities by 10% while active and convoke uh, duration and number of spells cast increased by 25%. So that's not going to matter for Guardian at all. The problem with Convoke as a Guardian Druid is just this, your spell choice uh, is just atrociously bad. It's really bad, uh, you know inconsistent in terms of what it's providing defensively offensively it's bad so unless this brings back the whole uh, boomkin convoking for guardian druids it's you're never going to take this for the convoke thing so you're looking at the incarn thing on top of the fact that for some reason convoke is still an incarn choice node uh, i i'm still team put convoke in the general tree for druids but you know we won't get into that in this video uh 10 arcane damage though is going to be pretty nice for the incarn cooldown because again now if you have thrash as an arcane spell you're doing 10 percent damage on thrash you're getting 10 damage on all your moon fires that are spread out uh and you're probably going to be running you know galactic guardian with twin moon fire in an aoe build obviously in single target you won't be uh you know doing twin moon fire so uh, it's going to kind of depend i guess on the actual proc rate of fury of loon and how much damage that does but i can see you know this portion of it and and this both being beneficial to to guardians just the convoke line is definitely not something you're ever going to actually really consider with the current you know design of the talent trees but still uh you know somewhat interesting there moving over arcane affinity is a choice note here all arcane damage from your spells and abilities increased by three percent so just three percent there on the thrash on the moon fire uh that's it yeah or lunation here where your arcane abilities reach the cooldown of fear of a loon by two seconds and the cooldown of new moon half moon and full moon by one second and your arcane abilities reduce the cooldown of lunar beam by three seconds that is a lot of cdr right um lunar beam is only a one minute cooldown 
you cast thrash a decent amount obviously if you're in incarn you're casting you can cast thrash a fair bit in aoe i wonder if the galactic guardian like twin moonfire procs will count uh as an arcane ability usage there i wonder if you have the thrash procs if that'll count as an arcane ability usage there but you're probably ripping like like 20 plus seconds off the cooldown here which that's a lot that is a lot of cooldown reduction on lunar beam right that's like at least a 33 percent cooldown reduction maybe more maybe you could get up to 50 percent cooldown reduction that would be crazy uh if you had what 10 spell casts in a 30 second window that were arcane and if thrash is arcane and if moonfire is arcane and their procs are arcane and they all count that's that is a lot of cdr uh on lunar beam which is giving you you know what uh 10 leech it's giving you four percent damage done uh it's giving you potentially uh you're going to be taking here with if you overlap with incarn for arcane damage but also it gives you mastery uh and damage and healing on top of that as well so that's potentially a lot of cdr here on lunar beam and you know it's already like i said it's already not a terrible cooldown it's just not great and it's kind of path in a, in a not great area for like single target stuff but uh juicing it up a little bit and like drastically reducing the cooldown of it definitely makes it something that you are very very interested in getting if this is a, a talent you can take so that's that's potentially very interesting and it gives guardian a sh another short like if this is like a 40 second cooldown let's say that's just another kind of very short cd uh thing in their in their arsenal in their toolkit right which is very very good uh we got one more talent here the capstone so let's take a look at that further increase the power of boundless moonlight okay so maybe this is now a super juiced up lunar beam balance gets a new moon and half moon uh, they call down a minor moon guardian lunar beam increases mastery by an additional eight percent and deals 30 percent increased damage in okay an 11 second lunar beam so you could you could have like 33 percent uptime on lunar beam maybe like oh this is this is big lunar okay so they juiced up lunar beam here the flash of energy now generates six natural power and six rages damage is increased by 50 percent uh so is is the only way to get Fury of Elune here for Guardians this talent? I think it is. So I think you're going to be kind of locked into maybe this talent, which kind of makes sense. Uh, if you're, if you're not the Lunar Beam stuff, I wonder if you even, you're, you, I wonder if you even take in Car. I mean, you know, we'll see. We'll see how the bills turn around, but definitely a no Karn kind of talent. I mean, you, you'd rework a lot of this upper tree again, not fully thinking about it, but. Looking at where things are down here, right? If you maybe you drop Ursox Fury, uh, you know, take some other stuff. Obviously, you still have to take Blood Frenzy. So yeah, you're you're gonna. This is not what the builds look like. Don't don't get me wrong here, but uh, definitely opens up some very interesting things. Lunar Beam power drastically increased, an additional eight percent mastery, and I think it's I don't know what it is. I think it's like twenty one percent mastery or something like that. It's a lot of mastery it gives now. Additional eight percent. Last three more seconds. Current last eight up to eleven seconds. Cooldown getting a huge chunk taken off of it. Uh, it's going to be dealing a ton of extra damage as well. So that, I mean, this is, they made Lunar Beam look real, real good for sure. For sure. So, I mean, there's uh, a lot going on here. Bring back some old rage generation stuff for Galactic Guardian, making Thrash, Arcane Damage, Giga CDR, and juicing up the power of Lunar Beam. So definitely interesting. We'd love to know how you guys feel about this hero talent tree. Are you a fan of being Laser Bear and actually getting to use Lunar Beam finally um, for the first time in forever <laughs> for Guardian Druids? Uh, are you looking forward more to that Druid of the Claw, maybe Bleed-related playstyle that we haven't seen yet uh, on the uh, Shared with Fury, or not Fury, sorry, <laughs> Shared with Feral Druids? Let me know. Uh, what do you think about those down in the comments below also remember i will be posting uh videos on the prop paladin and prop warrior new ta hero talent trees as well uh, over the next couple days so make sure you are subscribed to the channel and are on the lookout for those videos as always though thank you to my amazing supporters over on my patreon for making these videos possible otherwise thank you to everyone so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video